We've had a busy few years renovating eight properties, including our own forever homes. But we're going to have to take everything we've learnt and really bring it to this next one. We're taking an Aussie suburban eyesore and turning it into a glamorous little family home. By the time we're done with it, there won't be a dull moment in this home. This house has zero street appeal. Outdated colours, a flat front, it lacks all personality and charm. No character, it just needs character. It's got lots of tiny little rooms within the house. This property is by far the ugliest duckling we have ever attempted to renovate. So this is a very typical suburban home. It's got three bedrooms, one bathroom, a pokey little kitchen, and you go straight out onto some grass with a hill's hoist. We're going to change all of that. We're going to keep the three bedrooms where they are, but we're going to build a new master suite. Then we're going to build an extension on the back. This is where we're going to build the kitchen and living space connected directly to the outdoors. So overall we're going to add 70 square metres to this home and make it absolutely beautiful. So what we want in houses these days is basically that indoor outdoor living. So the whole of the back of the property, all across the back there's one tiny door to get out the kitchen. So that's what we need to change. We're going to rip out the guts of the house, throw an extension on the back and open up indoor outdoor as much as we can. So Erin's so in the kitchen now, okay. Um, that's the bathroom wall here, which is the end of the building, decking all down there. So the existing kitchen sat at the back of the house, but we're going to move that into the extension and open it all up. So it's a standard L-shaped kitchen with an island, and because of the rake ceiling in this extension, I wanted to change this up just a little bit and do a triangular window seat in there. What I do with that space, I'm not sure yet, but I will figure it out, and it's going to be pretty special. So the first stage of the renovation is basically stripping back and demolishing everything we don't need. So we're stripping down all of the external cladding in preparation for the new cladding, the new sky on linear that we will put up. We're changing a few windows around and we're also taking some wall linings off internally. My God, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this kitchen. I'm going to really kind of go out of the box with this one and I'm so excited about it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the kitchen yet. So the slab's gone down, Bonnie's got tentative designs, but they're not locked in stone. So I'm a little bit nervous about any changes she may make because when you've got a concrete slab, we can't be changing those plumbing points around. I know the layout and yeah. I know the shape of the kitchen. I just don't know all of the design features yet. Yeah. And I know the sink. Yeah, okay, well that's a start. Hmm. So there's going to be some quirky little features in this kitchen and I'm thinking black, maybe some colour and maybe a different shaped island. What we have is here, we've opened up the whole internal section of the existing house and then we've extended out this beautiful kitchen, lounge, dining. The whole extension for this property has got a huge raked ceiling. This whole section here where you can see the greenery is going to be glass. So from just about anywhere in all of the living spaces in the house, you'll be able to see it. The design that Bond came up with certainly posed some challenges for Carrera by design, our cabinet makers. What do we got? European laundry? Yes. Fridge? Fridge. Bench top all the way and then um, cooktop? Yes. The cabinets above. Where are they going to put their food? There's no pantry. I think she's either forgotten or possibly just um, not thought it was necessary to have a pantry. Oh, I forgot to put a kitchen pantry in. It happens often. I get so caught up in the design. I can put a pull-out pantry. You can put a pull-out pantry. Bonnie will never know. So the kitchen has a pantry. <laughs> it just had to. She changes things on me all the time behind my back. We need to give them another 20 centimetres, at least. If we do that, we're ruining the look of the lines lining up. And we normally... Go talk to Bonnie about that. I can't imagine these two trying to do all of this without me. We have to merge design with practicality. Practical police pick me up and we're all good now. Another one done. Done, done. Ah!
The kitchen in this house is just so gorgeous. Like, look at that window. Gorgeous. We've changed the kitchen design to have a curved island, which I have to say, I love the idea of. How long is the island? 3.3. 3.3? Yeah. That's massive. Yeah. It's very traditional in its cabinetry. It's got beautiful detailing, but it's not traditional in its colour. What's going on? I know you're looking for a Green Island bench. And yeah. I was looking on Real Estate's Instagram. Can you just go to it? And if you just yep. scroll down, there's a picture of this sort of green, sage green, I'd call it, wall, with like some timber tables on it. Is that the green you had oh, in mind? Yeah, I see it. I wanted something just a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit more punch. Oh. Keep going. Yep. And there's a picture of a green wall with a timber table out the front of it with some plants. Yep, yep. Yeah, more along those lines. Yeah, well that looks really nice. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? No, that's really nice. I'll organise some colour swatches. All right, babe, i got to go. Okay, see bye. you Bye, bye. So I've left Erin and Lana on site and I'm here at the Electrolux Experience Centre and I'm off to choose some appliances. Now not everyone has a budget for an integrated fridge, I know Bond loves them, um, but I personally love the Electrolux fridge. It helps the space look and feel like a kitchen, it feels to me very homely. Alright, so what I love about this is the French doors. Yes. I just feel the French door feels so friggin' organised. So the fresh sewn crisp bar, yes. and it's fully sealed, yes. and it's double insulated, which means all your fruit and vegetables are gonna last so much longer. Oh, in that is like the story fridge. of my life. I buy them, and then they're dead, and I don't get to eat them. There was an acoustic report done on the property because it backs onto the main road. The glass we have at the rear of the property on the beautiful window there had to be a, to a certain grade. I was like, girls, I've got the answer. I've already got hushed glass in my house from Viridian and it totally works. So it's really important for everyone to be aware with their builder of any of those little requirements. It's in now and it looks fantastic. So we always recommend that you paint samples before you choose your final colour and I always love to be involved with that, don't I, Bon? You do, yeah, because you really just want to check what colours are I just want to check yeah. because if she gets it wrong then it's a bit of rework. What colour have you got, Bon? I have Beckett. And I have got Dulux Bridgewater. So this one here that I've just painted is called Lorna and it's got some real softness to it which is just beautiful. It's kind of where I want this green to be at. If you look at the three greens we have here, it sits smack bang in the middle of the two of them. This is too light. This is this is beautiful, don't get me wrong, um, but maybe just a tiny, tiny um, bit too dark for what I want. So, I think Lorna it might be. What do you think? Lorna, everyone, Dulux Lorna. The house has been painted inside, which always completely transforms it. You know, it goes from feeling like a reno to feeling like a home. One of the main design features of this home is the beautiful glass wall behind me here. We've got the undercoat on and it looks a little bit raw at the moment, but we've got our final coat of paint going on the next few days and then fit out is done. Yeah, the kitchen, whoa, whoa with the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty bold. I can't believe we've done like a coloured cabinetry. We've done it before, but really pale green. You almost couldn't see the green. Here the green hits you in the face. Peach, what do you think of the green? Yeah, it's uh, different. What do you mean different? Like different good or different? Yeah, I don't know yet. Wait till it's all finished and... So you don't instantly no, like it? No, not really, no. <laughs> we have... Microwave, butler sink, dishwasher, oven. I forgot that. <laughs> so laundry, laundry, washer, dryer, yeah, completely concealed. Yep. How, like... Is that not the most practical laundry ever? I seriously, I can't, I, I rate them massively. Great job again, you Done. nailed Done. it. Nailed it. Hi, how are you going? Yeah, good, what's going on? Calling to say, I think it's that time again. I need to get you to go to Caesar Stone to pick out the stone. But I don't even need to for this house. I know exactly what I want. Oh, mm. okay. I want to use the white attica this time. 
I've wanted to use it for a million houses and this house is the goer. So I've had my eye on this Caesar stone for I don't even know how many houses and I'm finally going to get to use it at this house and it's just going to be perfect. Where are oh my so we're at the final stages of the renovation and I'm beside myself because the stone has gone in. I've gone with the white attica from Caesar Stone and it is beautiful. It's 60 mil thick. It's got the curve running on either side, which is just beautiful. The detailing is amazing. And then we've got it running up the backsplash as well. Oh my God, I love it. So I finally decided the space just off the kitchen is going to be that kind of second living space, somewhere you can sit, chat, relax, have coffee with friends. My little green kitchen turned out better than what I had ever, ever imagined and I love it. Ended up going with the green and I'm so glad we did. It's so beautiful and fresh and calm which is just gorgeous. So the kitchen was always going to be this mixture of really traditional elements and some kind of modern elements. We've got the cabinetry very traditional, it's got that beautiful detailing to it which I love and then we kind of throw between that to a modern tap, traditional sink and then again the modern knobs. It's worked beautifully within this space. So the black box, that and the green island were the two banging features in this kitchen so everything else had to be that little bit more subtle. So you can see behind me we've gone with a non-integrated Electrolux fridge. It's very seamless within all of the cabinetry and it has the added bonus of a water dispenser. So I don't know about you but I really need my morning coffee. This house is nowhere near a coffee shop so we popped in a DeLonghi coffee machine and I think it really suits the style of the kitchen. So I've had my eye on these two little babies for a while now from DeLonghi. I love them. Green Island green toaster and kettle. They work beautifully together and I'm never hiding these ones in a cupboard, they're too beautiful. So I was a little unsure about what I was gonna do with this space just to the side of the kitchen. Initially I was thinking a dining space here or do I have a little kind of seated area? I went with the seated area. I wanted to create like a cafe style environment where Everyone was kind of sitting down facing each other, it was conversational. We've also got like the bench seat which is just beautiful. The light that that window brings in is insane. I absolutely love it. I've also kept all the colours really fresh and really crisp. If you ever want to add a bit of relaxed kind of atmosphere to your room, put a rattan rug in. They do it every time and then lux it up with a bronze pendant. So overall, I absolutely love this space. I love how the kitchen connects with this living space. I love how the extension has completely opened up this whole entire house. It's amazing. So I want this room to feel like a boudoir. Retro, old school glamour. Mm? Yeah. Mm? Yeah. Mm? Yeah. Mm? yeah. Fab. I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing now. Oh, am I making the right decision? I don't give a rat's what's happening on that wall. You discuss something, you agree it, you turn up and it's changed. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. That is so ridiculously crooked, like unbelievably crooked. 